Hi guys, today I'm going to give you guys a review on my grandpa's uh, Case IH 8600 uh, air seater. And um, that was a 30 footer. And I think you could get them in hole drills, but um, ours was just the disc drill. And uh, that is one thing about the disc drills, you know, it's um, the parts are expensive when you have to replace discs on them. But um, uh, my grandpa, I guess he was a pretty big farmer uh, back in the 90s and stuff like that. And I remember uh, all the neighbors came over when he first bought that, that air drill because they were all still using 14-foot John Deere press drills and 30-foot um, uh, John Deere press drills that they had haul around on the transport. So it was nice here. Grandpa could just lift the machine up and just drive down the county road and head off to the next field, you know. And uh, he has had the, um, the two markers on it. And um, let's see, we did not have the auger on it for augering into it. We always had to pull an auger and a tractor out there to to auger our, fertil um, our starter fertilizer into it and our wheat into it as well. Um, and as for problems, I, I don't remember too many problems, but I do remember one year, uh, Grandpa couldn't get enough um, RPMs out of the hydraulic fan on it because, uh, because how the hydraulic fan works on that air seeder is it's a, uh, um, uh, it, you, you hook it up to your PTO on your tractor, your 1000 PTO, and that's gotta spin it fast enough. So Grandpa called Case IH out and what they found out is that um, the PTO clutches inside my grandpa's two plus two international tractor, his 3588, were not, were slipping. So it wasn't allowing it to get enough RPM. So uh, they went ahead and they parked my grandpa's two plus two up on a, a steep incline or whatever and unbolted the, the whole PTO assembly and pulled it all out and took it into Case IH and uh, rebuilt it and put it back in there. And then we hooked that 8600 air seater up back up to it and it worked good again. But, um, but yeah, it was it was a good machine there. Um, but now we've got no till and all that kind of stuff. So, um, and I think when Grandpa sold it, I think he sold that air seeder for uh, twenty five hundred dollars. And then uh, the guy that bought it, he needed a four wheel drive tractor too. So then he bought my Grandpa's thirty five eighty eight two plus two tractor for twenty five hundred dollars as well. So this is probably like two thousand eight somewhere around there when Grandpa sold all that stuff. So yeah, for the guy, a pretty good deal. All right, take care, you guys.